Hello everyone and welcome to another The Isle Concept Analysis, a series of videos where I discuss about upcoming dinosaur concept arts released for Ivorima. Today we will explore Mayasura, its real-life counterpart, how it was in Legacy and how it's going to be in the future. So without further ado, sit back and enjoy the video. Mayasura Piblesaurum meaning Good Mother Lizard, was a medium-sized herbivorous dinosaur from the late Cretaceous, 76 million years ago, habiting the lands of what is now North America. Being around 30 feet long, Maya belonged to the Hadrosauridae family, a vast group of herbivorous dinosaurs known for their flat, duck-bill-like bones at the tip of their snouts, a highly specialized and very successful adaptation. With it, these large plant eaters would be able to feed on large quantities of tough vegetation efficiently, and Maya wasn't an exception, feeding mostly on ferns, conifers and flowering plants. Also like their Adrosaur cousins, they were able to move both on two and four legs, giving them the capability of covering large distances as well as reaching a decent speed of about 28 miles per hour, if necessary making them a relatively fast herbivore. But as the name would suggest, Myasaurus are known for their parenting behavior. Fossil evidence show massive nesting grounds, or more specifically, nesting colonies, with hundreds of nests, eggs and specimens of multiple life stages all in the same area, implying that these herbivores took care of their young throughout most of the creature's maturity process. Their brains were also large compared to similar sized dinosaurs, a factor that might have contributed to a more complex and robust social behavior inside their herds. And speaking of herds, this species was numerous, forming extremely large herds with thousands of members migrating to set colonies to reproduce. Released in March 20th, 2016, Myasaura always filled the fast tank-ish niche since the beginning. Being one of the fastest dinos in Legacy and with their surprisingly high HP for its weight and tier, Maya's most notorious feature was its insane bleed resistance, having the highest in the entire game. Being able to withstand attacks from dedicated bleeders like raptors and carnos and fast enough to outpace stronger predators like aloes and the like. Unlike most dinos mentioned in this series, Myasaurus were added to the survival game mode in 2018, later receiving some stamina buffs to increase its survivability even further. Their place in the player ecosystem remained pretty much intact even after the transition, being very successful at surviving in the game with its very high mobility and defensive stats even though it isn't the greatest of fighters. Being more dedicated to a more relaxed and pacifistic playthrough, Maya is a great choice for players that want a fast and somewhat resistant herbivore even to this day. And now that we've received its official concept art, it is finally time for us to see what we can expect from this fat roadrunner in Avrima. The developers seem to have taken the opportunity to flesh out Maya's main characteristics in-game to reflect its real-life counterpart more specifically, its motherly nature. From these three images, there's a suggestion that Maya's nests are particularly difficult to raid by dedicated egg stealers or more opportunistic carnivores. In the dialogue section, we can observe two adult Mayas attacking the previously mentioned carnivore with extreme ferocity, both stomping and biting their opponent. This implies that Mayas are highly protective parents even if their offspring is already dead. This could represent two things. Either Mayas obtain some sort of buff in the vicinity of a nest that belongs to their species, or this is simply a behavioral action which the devs are hoping players to follow while playing this specific dinosaur. Since the isle tends to avoid these gimmicky buffs, I'm personally leaning more on the latter, but there's always a possibility that this is an actual gameplay feature. However, when it comes to my specific niche in Evrima, there's an impression that has changed quite a bit. Instead of speed, it seems that there's now more of a focus on their body weight, 
capable of shoving similarly sized animals with ease and apparently even able to withstand a cardinal charge, visibly disorienting the predator in the process. This places Maya as a rough opponent for most low mid tier carnivores, especially the ones that are lighter than them. We don't know for sure how heavy Mayasaur is going to be in the game, but assuming that the devils will stay close to their real life statistics, they will be around 4 to 5 thousand pounds, so it's gonna be a pretty beefy boy. And lastly, we have these two specimens traversing a body of water, likely a swamp. This could also be just another filler image, but since they mentioned Maya's traversal capabilities on their most recent dev blog, maybe this is suggesting that they might walk through shallow water easier or faster than other dinosaurs, but it's hard to say for sure. Their extra neutering behavior is being evidently emphasized on the concept art. However, it is up to debate how exactly they are going to influence players to adopt such specific behavior in the game. Without a proper mechanic or feature, it seems unlikely that regular players would simply behave like that, a similar issue present in the Albertosaurus concept art. Maybe this is simply a suggestion so players know more or less how to act as this dinosaur, much like Sukamimus in Legacy being constantly played close to a water source even though there's no real mechanic that is influencing that behavior. If they are indeed planning on adding something that will promote Maya's scary bearing to be performed, I would say it's a good thing. It would give Mayasaurus character just like Serratus in Evrima, and would also provide an even more immersive experience to the game as a whole on top of it. In terms of gameplay, it wasn't clarified if they slow them down significantly or not, but there's a clear focus on body weight being used both defensively and offensively in combat situations, changing its niche a good bit. This change certainly makes Maya more unique in comparison to similarly sized herbivores, however there's a risk that this might form some undesirable overlaps within the planned hadrosaurs for the game, especially high-end mid-tiers like Cory and Para, but for now this sounds like a net positive alteration in the playstyle. Overall, Mayasaurus got a good chunk of improvements that may be very beneficial for its viability in the player ecosystem adding character to the species while also successfully slightly changing its niche without causing immediate problems to the current roster. But what do you guys think? Do you enjoy the change of Maya's playstyle? Share your thoughts and opinions down below. If you want to watch previous concept analysis there will be a playlist available in the end credits. If you are also interested in discussions about the Isle and its future, check out the rest of my content. A huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting the channel and the content I create. If you wanna join the ranks, the link will be in the description. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and opinions down below, join our Discord server for memes and player net stuff, and I hope to see you all this Friday.